I'm on the Parramatta River today, back for another round using the Berkeley Protec lures. Check this out, right in the bag here. Check that out. Anytime fitness? No, I don't mean that. There's no salads in here. Let's just check and see what we've got in here. We've got a bunch of lures. Let's see what we're gonna use first. Lucky dip right here. What's that? Berkeley Bender 76, a surface lure right now? Well, <laughs> we're gonna have to give it a go, guys. Out of the box and into my clutches, pink chartreuse. Check that pink head, that green body, and there's a bit of orange just behind the neck there. Now, what's interesting is that it's not, it's not a straight lure. You can see the axis along the lure, it's bent, hence, hence the bent minnow, or the bender. <laughs> the bender, guys. Banana bender. I like that rattle. Hear that? Check it out. It's all super duper shallow brown water. It's a little bit shallower than I would like. So what's good about these lures is that because of the bent shape, you've got a really erratic action there. I see that there's mullet that I'm approaching right now. You can work them quick. You can work them slow. I've mostly had success either periodically twitching them slowly or just giving a few quick twitches and then letting it settle for a minute and then repeating it like that. This probably isn't the greatest color for this kind of water, more like a sandy flats kind of um, lure. I'm fishing pretty much over mud in really brown waters, but. All right, we spent about 20 minutes fishing at the last spot, but obviously we didn't well, I wasn't feeling too confident with the water level, so I've moved to another bay. Good old ducks. Ooh, I want to slip down this hill. Don't want that. Ah, uh, looks like there's a little bit more water out here. Yeah, I'd say a little bit more water. All right, here we go. First cast. So I'm a little bit impatient right now. Just not really letting that lure do what it wants to do. Just kind of rushing it in. Here we go. That was a good follow there. That was a brim. That was a brim. That was a brim right there. Came from the left. So letting it sit there in case there's another little one. Get a little twitch. Yeah. Couple of little brim there. Three. Three little brim. They're a bit far, but they're definitely watching it. Yeah, all right, there was a good one there. See, that it just moved off. There was a good one right then and there before. So yeah, I should not rush it. I should take my time here with Brim. Get the lucky gloves back on. Yeah, a lot of Brim there. Lots of Brim in close right there, where, just on the right of my line where that drop is. Come on, it is broad daylight. They may not want it so late in the day they would want it later than this but not like with the sun this high up it's a bit difficult but this is when we can fish so that's what we're doing All right, it's gonna be a tough challenge today guys it's a tough one yeah there we go brim under it please hit it oh so close come on little guy they're spooking themselves please hit it please just nail it I'm not moving it. I'm not even moving myself. Look, there's like 10 brim. One decent one there below it on the right, right now. I'm not moving, there's like 50 brim. It's hard to see if I've got any follows out that distance, but there are definitely brim on the left there. We'll leave it there, just one twitch. Let's see, come on, strike. Strike buddy, there's like 10, 20 brim there. Come on. There's a whole circus of brim there, come on. There's a good one underneath it, lower than the rest. 
It's a big lure for Brim. There we go, that was a hit, see that? Brim, I see it, I just saw that brim. It's like in the little little walk here, changing technique here. Yeah, we found a technique that works guys. Little dab downwards, periodically working it like a popper. Actually, that's how I got into brim fishing on surface. It was with poppers first. Then I transitioned to walkers because they're more conducive to a lot of quick twitches. Just dabbing the rod tip, just a little bit, making a dive a little bit under. And I elicited a strike there. I think it was at least one strike, wasn't it, guys? All right, now I certainly haven't cast over here. So we'll launch one out far. Let that line settle on the surface of the water. So I'm not pulling it with the wind. Start that dab. Just dabbing it. All right, we'll do a few little twitches and then we'll dab it a bit. I wonder if it's the little twitches that get it interested. There we go, on. On guys. It's running right, it's gotta be a brim. Yep, it's a nice one. Nice brim, kick it off the rocks. Yes. Yes guys. Around that waster, use, use your eyes basically. Use your eyes, see that? Lift it over, it's not gonna tangle me. Yep, around. That's how you get them, that's how you get, don't, don't let those, as long as you don't let your line hit the oysters. Oh, look, I might lose this fish. It's gotta to have to be quick, three, two, one. You. That's it. Calculated decision there. And that lure can ride out, guys. Check that out. As I said, the panic meter on me started going up and I knew for good reason. Check it. There we are, guys. So, just pop right out, huh? The pink chartreuse. Amazing looking color. Love these colorful things. We're gonna have to let this little guy go, mate. You've gone through enough. Plucked you out of the top of the water column. See you later, mate. Back in to the Parramatta River. Bit of a walk, eh? pop our heads around this corner guys navigating my way across this pretty rugged terrain actually heaps of oysters should be some brim right come on look at all these oysters it's got to be brim just sitting off this edge yeah well of course it's slippery because I'm walking Come on, we want to get a brim today on the on this Protec Bender 76 millimeter in that dazzling color. You know the pink head, pink, orange, green, yellow, disco colors. Because we're about to have a party on this lure. <laughs> By my estimation, the perfect place to cast it, just off those rocks. No doubt some brim are looking at it. Surprising. There we go, on. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> like a barrel right out of the water. Come here, little dude. You! <laughs> yeah, little rascal. Gotcha. We got him, guys. We got him. Look at that. It's come right off. Back out here the next day guys, after taking critical damage, taking that slam yesterday on the gear, but we're back out here today with the brim. You! This is going to be interesting for hookup guys, super duper long cast out to that little inset, that cut out in the bay, in that, yeah, wow, what a big hit right there, ooh, massive hits, ooh, felt Wait, oh no. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Smash it again, come on. Whoa, big hit, you can hear that clapping. 
and no the sun has not set it's just that we're walking through a lot of bush so it's very dark um, wow that's quite a bit quite a bit of greenery and there we go got through that make sure there's no spider webs Oh, good hit there. Good hit right then and there. They want it. They want it. Oh, I felt weight there. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, it's turned away now. It felt weight there. That one, another golden opportunity. We're pulling the fish though. Definitely, we're not hooking up. Right, another spot we are Moving around, trying to complete this challenge. Got two fish on it already, two brim, but I want to get at least one more. Obviously conditions are horrendous, but you know, what can you do? This, these are the cards that I got dealt with. That's the conditions of the challenge. Guys, <laughs> this is a hard one. This is a hard challenge. I've been going around, plenty hits. Now the hits have actually stopped, so we're on struggle straight, if anything. Um, I don't know what to do from here. We've been a bit snobbish. We have not looked anything below the surface of the water right now. We've refused because we've just been using nothing but this lure, top water. It could still happen. I, I believe it could still happen even though it doesn't look like it, doesn't feel like it. It could still happen at any stage. We just need one good connection, one hit and that hit to connect which is which has been pretty much next to impossible today. There we go, got a bit of a splash there. If anything, I would almost consider that a hit, but I didn't feel it. There we go, that was a hit, but I didn't feel it again. Another little hit, it's a little brim. Come on, just one of these guys just connect up, please. Oh, look at that. Right there, another little hit. We still got some runway still keep pushing it along oh another hit come on D doesn't anyone want to eat that delicious bent the bender come on doesn't anything want that bender one cast only it's a one cast deal guys you either you get something or you don't they're not coming back for seconds today there we go got it yep got it what is that whiting yeah, white in three, two, one. You, <laughs> we just got him, guys. Yes, three fish for the challenge. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, slam the bag down. <sighs> Pumped. That's it. I don't care what size it is. I don't even care that it's not a brim. I don't care. <laughs> oh, guys, haven't been getting a drink of water. I'm being frothing at the mouth. But, 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 but. But, but, but we did it. We did it. Yes, yes. Saw the little go right under the water. Right under. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Little, little whiting. Off you go, buddy. Yes. Guys, what'd you think about this lure challenge? I mean, I really was going to use this lure anyway. I just wanted to... I mean, I guess that's why I bought it, right? <laughs> I bought all those lures because I wanted to either test them out or, you know, have them in my bag. Right, guys. So some initial thoughts on the Berkeley Protec Series uh, Surface Bender 76, as you can see right here. Um, obviously, not comprehensive thoughts right now. I've given them a run on two separate occasions. We didn't get any big fish, but we were able to still get, get, get a couple of fish, a couple of brim and a whiting. Verdict, well, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to say right now because we're heading into winter and, you know, as the weather gets cooler, surface fishing just isn't the best uh, form to chase fish on lures. So I think the lures did pretty well given the circumstances. The action seemed pretty good. Uh, yeah, again, so these are just initial thoughts. There's nothing concrete. There's nothing substantial here from a couple of sessions, but I thought the lures looked great uh, Great build quality the action looked very very good 
easy to work with quick twitches, slow twitches. I think there's something in it for everyone. Um, they caught fish, the hooks are very strong, um, they didn't bend from the fish that I'd caught and the fish seemed to, to like the lure. Plenty of brim following the lure on a lot of those carts and a lot of missed opportunities as well. A lot of big hits um, that I wasn't able to show on the camera because I didn't hook up. But yeah, that's, that's, kind, of, that's kind of the realm of surface fishing. So you're going to get more hits than those that you land. Yeah, so over those two sessions, you know, that's that's just what I caught. So that's just my honest experiences with the lures. So you can make a judge for yourself. There's not, not trying to paint them either direction. So heading into winter, that surface bite is going to slow down. So hold on to these lures up until the start of spring and summer. That's when the surface hit, that's when the surface bite is going to come back on. Um, otherwise, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you're heading into those warmer months right now. I know I've got quite a few Northern Hemisphere viewers, in particular the US. And yeah, some, summer's around the corner for you guys. So shout out to all my US viewers. Also, if I was to do another video just like this one on another shape from the Protec series, which one would you guys pick? You know, the Twitch bait for flatties, for example, or, you know, one of the Vibes, or some of the other some of the other styles in the range. Let me know also in the comments section down below. And guys, thanks for your support as always, and I'll catch you in the next video.